This is Scott, and this is the Hyper Report. Here are the quotes for various items. First, Chinese gold reserves. According to Richard Russell, it should not be long before we hear about Chinese gold reserves and they will be shocking. He goes on to say that Eastern investors from the Chinese, Russians, Turks, and Indians continue to buy and hoard enormous amounts of physical gold and silver and they are no dopes. They know that the best place to protect one's wealth in a period of massive monetary debasement has been in precious metals. Next, Republicans pulling a Pelosi. First, we have Republican Representative Mimi Walters pushing the secret Obama trade plan without having read it herself. Then we have Republican Mitch McConnell stating that the agreement will be completely transparent. Now we have Paul Ryan stating that the agreement will be declassified and made public once it's agreed upon. In short, there is virtually no one in Washington, D.C. looking out for the people. Next, Pentagon shipping anthrax. In late May, it was reported that the Defense Department had inadvertently shipped a few live samples of anthrax to several labs. In addition, the Pentagon has recently been forced to admit that it had actually shipped live anthrax to dozens of labs in the U.S. So, why is the Pentagon shipping anthrax all over the place in the first place? Can you say Jade Helm? Next, NSA transcriptions. The NSA recently disclosed the use of automated speech recognition technology to search, index, and transcribe phone calls. Forget the bulk metadata. If anyone honestly believes the NSA is not transcribing all phone calls in the U.S., they need to have their heads examined. Next, got cash? In the event of a credit crunch, there will be no borrowing or lending, thus any line of credit will be worthless. During this small window of time, which may be a week or a month or two, physical cash will be king. To that end, it is advisable to have some physical cash on hand to buy gas or food since the ATMs will be drained and will not be supplied and there is nowhere near the physical cash as there is digital dollars. Next, Greenhouse Gas Study. A new study by MIT has revealed that the quantities of nitrous oxide, otherwise known as laughing gas, being released by the world's oceans has been dramatically underestimated. The nitrous oxide release is about 300 times more potent than carbon dioxide emissions. So, would someone please tell those fish to stop farting? Finally, please prepare now for the escalating economic and social unrest. Good day.